guys, it's a Britney, and no, this is not my real hair. It's a wig. It's a Harley Quinn inspired wig. I'm having a really bad hair day because I'm filming videos for when I'm away next week in California for VidCon, and my hair, girl, it looks so bad. I don't get it done till Tuesday, but you're gonna be watching this like Friday or probably the Monday I get home. It's one of those days, but. Yeah, or even Wednesday. You could be watching this on Wednesday. I'm not sure which day you're watching this video, but my hair looks awful by itself, so I wanted to put my wig on. <laughs> so today's video is a scary story about a haunted doll. This is known as the talking doll, and it's all about a woman who loves dolls, she collects dolls, dolls are basically her entire life, and this other woman who absolutely hates, despises, dolls. So this is going to get interesting. So the story starts off with an older couple and they hired a maid to help around the house because they just needed some more help and the wife she had a huge doll collection. Dolls were her entire life and the maid was expected to dust these dolls at least once a week. So once a week that maid she went into that room with those dolls and she hated those dolls. She would look at them with disgust. Just like, ugh, why the heck does this older lady have all these dolls? Like this is weird, this is stupid, I hate dusting these dolls. Like she absolutely despised these dolls. Like what? <laughs> so as she was dusting these dolls, she came across this one doll that really caught her eye. And she was like, ugh, this doll is very strange. But she noticed that there was a cord and it was a talking doll. So she decided to pull the cord and listen to what the doll had to say. So she pulled the cord and the doll said, hello. So she was just like, all right, like, hello. <laughs> she pulled it again and the doll said, I love my mama. The maid was like, all right, that is enough for today. And she put the ball, the ball, <laughs> she put the doll back on the shelf and just walked away because she just couldn't be bothered, she can't stand dolls. <laughs> a few weeks later, that maid went back into that room to dust those dolls because she has to do it once a week. And as she was in there, she knocked over one of the dolls and it shattered, completely shattered. The old woman who collected these dolls, she of course got up so fast, she ran into the room to investigate to see what that noise was. She knew that it was the doll. So she went, as soon as she ran in there, her heart shattered seeing that doll completely shattered. The maid looked at the woman and she was like, I'm so sorry, that won't happen again. And the woman was like, if you keep breaking my dolls, you ain't gonna keep your job. <laughs> so the maid was like, I'm sorry, like please forgive me, like I didn't mean to do that, like it was an accident. And the lady was like, okay, well if you promise not to knock over any more dolls, then you can keep your job. The next day, the maid was over at the house and the couple went out as she was cleaning the house, but she wasn't supposed to go into the room where the dolls were. So she was in a really bad mood, like super bad mood. You know, she was totally neglecting her job. She was like, screw this, like, I don't have time for this, like, whatever, I'm so over this. She was like eating the old people's, old people's, that sounds so weird. The elderly couple, she was eating their fancy chocolate because apparently they had fancy chocolate so she was in the kitchen just eating their fancy chocolate. Then she decided to go into the room where the dolls were and she was looking at the dolls in pure disgust. She couldn't believe that this lady collects these things. Like that was her attitude towards these dolls. She then picked up one of the dolls and said, wow, I feel really bad for this lady. I can't believe that I shattered one of her dolls. But then something just came over her and she was just like, screw it. So she threw the other doll and watched it shatter on the floor and she just kind of was like meh. So after her meh moment, she started smiling and she really enjoyed shattering dolls. So that's what she continued to do, grabbing these dolls, throwing them, shattering, laughing. Like she was crazy, psychotic actually. This maid was having the time of her life shattering these dolls. It was something about breaking them. It just made her so happy and I guess she just you know, she is psychotic, like I said. So as she continued shattering these dolls, the old couple, they finally came home and they could hear her just throwing stuff in the room. They ran inside and the woman was like, what are you doing? And the man was just like, you're fired. Like you are, what is wrong with you? Shattered this doll yesterday. Now you're doing this. You're not even supposed to be in here. Like what are, what are you doing right now? So he was really mad at her and he fired her. I mean, of course, I mean, why wouldn't you fire her? She's crazy. They should have never fired this maid because she, you know, like I said a million times already, 
is so psychotic and just being fired made her even more angry. So she gathered up her things and she left peacefully. But as soon as she left the house, she started, you know, that evilness came over her again. She was so mad that she was fired that she came up with this evil plan that that night when the couple fell asleep, she was going to sneak back into their house, go into their kitchen, grab a butcher knife and slaughter this couple to death. And that is exactly what this maid did. She came back that night, she went into the kitchen, grabbed a butcher knife, she slaughtered this poor couple to death because she was just like, what is wrong with this woman? What is wrong with this woman? What is wrong with people in this world? Like there's so many bad people in this world who do stuff like this all the time. It just really gets to me guys, like, <sighs> really gets to me. But anyways, back to the story. So what's even more sickening is the next morning, this maid, she, you know, was pretending that nothing happened. So after she left the crime scene, she went back home, she went to sleep, she probably woke up, made her breakfast, had her coffee, you know, everything was fine. She came back to the couple's house and was pretending to, why did I say pretending like that? She was pretending that everything was totally okay. She was talking to the police, trying to seem very calm, like she knew nothing. She was saying that she was a maid for this couple and how they're such a sweet couple and they're just great people. Like that is so sickening. I'm not sure who called the police or who found the couple. I don't know if they heard something at nighttime. Maybe they heard screams. I'm not exactly sure, but then the police came in the morning. So I'm not sure how they found the couple. I'm not sure about that. But when the police were interviewing the maid, she was just saying they're such caring people and I don't know who would want to kill them. Like they're just so sweet. They did everything for me. Like how sickening is that? That makes me like, I feel like puking right now, even though the story probably isn't even real, but it's just, it gets to me, you know, it just, it gets to me. She then asked if she could go inside of the house, which I'm not sure why they would allow her to. So they asked her why, and she said she wanted to make sure that the lady's doll collection was in perfect condition and nothing was wrong. Like. This woman is sick in the head. So she went into the room. I don't know why they let her because it's a crime scene. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm not like in the FBI. I'm not a police officer. Like, I don't know those things, but yeah. So she walked into the room where the doll collection was and she saw that doll again, the talking doll with the cord. And she was just looking at it with pure disgust again. So she decided to pull the cord and see what this doll would say. She was expecting the doll to say hello and I love my mama. But when she pulled the cord, the doll said, why did you kill my mama? Obviously it didn't sound like me saying, why did you kill my mama? It was obviously like, why did you kill my mama? The maid looked horrified and she was like, what did you just say? So she pulled the cord again and the doll said, why did you kill my mama? She kept pulling and pulling at the cord and the doll kept saying, why did you kill my mama? Why did you kill my mama? Why did you kill my mama? Then she started saying, she was a very nice mama. I loved her so much. Why did you kill her? The maid was so shocked and so scared. The doll then started screaming, you killed my mama, you killed my mama. Without her even pulling the cord, she just kept screaming and screaming. Eventually the maid just threw the doll and she ran so fast and never looked back. The the next morning, that maid was found dead in her house with the talking doll in her hands. So that doll obviously got up and went to the maid's house. The investigators had no idea why she was holding this doll, so they decided to pull on the cord. And when they pulled on the cord, the doll was saying, she killed my mama, she killed my mama, she killed my mama, over and over and over again. So good, that maid, she had it coming, you know what I mean? Like what a disgusting, disgusting person taking, uh, stealing their chocolate first of all, then killing them of course, that is just disgusting. Killing them because she was mad that they that she got fired because she did something she wasn't supposed to do. She wasn't supposed to go into that room and dust those dolls. She's supposed to do it once a week and she wasn't supposed to do it that day. Like what the heck is wrong with people? I just don't get why people can't just be normal human beings. So anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed this story. Very disturbing, very eerie, but that maid had it coming for her, you know what I mean? Like, 
makes me sick. <laughs> I'm like getting into a rage over this story and just, uh, I'm gonna start ranting. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team, Brittany44. Hashtag Marilla runs. Hey, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.